as we go ahead with with the story this entire monkey army ram ram bhagwan's army they are having even more strength because they have defeated kumkaran they have defeated many of the other uh, demons and they are now fighting with more energy with more power and because of all this indrajit is getting even a more upset you know he is feeling that how is this happening i am going to do something so that it brings an end to ram and lakshman totally so what he does is that he has like you know a he has ma- made up an image an illusion of sita maya which looks as if it is a real sita maya he has just created that with his powers so he comes out into the battlefield holding on to her and he just takes out his sword and he kills her this is not the real sita maya he just acts as if he has killed sita maya now ram and lakshman and all all of the others they are not aware of these kind of powers that indrajit possess possesses so they feel very sad and they are like really upset that sita maya has been killed they they are like you know ram is so like almost he, he says that what is the use of fighting of all this and he kind of like you know gives up at that time vibhishan comes and tells them that this is a illusionary trick that indrajit has played on you because he wants to use that time to do a yagna in which he will get lots and lots of powers so you please go quickly and you try and stop that yagna because vibhishan knew about indrajit's powers ram and lakshman believe him and they quickly go and at that time indrajit was just about to offer the final offering in, into the fire if that would have been done then he would have really been able to kill all of the monkeys everybody in ram and lakshman's team but lakshman reaches in time and he stops this from happening and then there is a fight which happens there is a fight which happens between um in indrajit and um, lakshman like even hanuman ji is is over there they are able to like you know there it goes on for quite some time lakshman and indrajit are fighting face face to face when indrajit ultimately like you know he sticks he, he throws an arrow and lakshman is hit by that arrow he is hit hit quite badly because he indrajit obviously does have powers and ram bhagwan when he sees that lakshman is hit again he is quite sad he is he is quite down and he holds lakshman in in his lap like if you see or you can see that lakshman is lying in ram ram bhagwan's lap and ram bhagwan is crying that you know i should not have allowed you to face this indrajit i this is completely wrong and why did i do this so all the monkeys and the bears they are standing around him and at that time jambavan takes control and he tells that hanuman you quickly go fly up to the himalayas there there is one very very special mountain which is in between the mountain of kailash and rishab in that mountain there is a special herb which is called as the sanjeevani you go and get that herb if we can get that herb quickly for lakshman He is, his life will be saved ram bhagwan then requests hanuman ji that you please go fast and you bring it the life of my brother is in your hands so hanuman ji listens to that he says yes yes definitely why not and he flies he reaches where these mountains are there he looks but he is not able to figure out which is this particular herb called sanjeevani so what does he do he lifts up the entire mountain and he brings it because he remembers that ram bhagwan has told him to hurry up and come back so with his power he lifts up the entire mountain and he brings it to where uh, lakshman is lying down over there 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 is this uh, the ayurved doctor called sushena the ayurvedic doctor called sushena who knows which is the herb so he picks up the right herb from all these all of the leaves that are there and he takes the leaves he crushes them and he keeps them near lakshman's nose and then slowly lakshman's eye lakshman opens up his eyes and he like you know he gets up when he gets up when his eyes open up ram bhagwan is really very happy and he tells hanuman ji that thank you 
for having saved the life of my brother hanuman ji says that you did not have thank me it is to totally totally fine uh, it would have it would not you did not need, need to thank thank me you, it, it was my duty to have done this now at then there is this uh, as it as it goes ahead indrajit again comes and indrajit and lakshman again have have a fight like you know lakshman is now ready with all of all of his energy and they are about to uh, they are having this fight lakshman also takes out all of the energy that he has he remembers ram bhagwan and he shoots the final arrow and just when indrajit was about to you know do something to lakshman it is actually Laks lakshman who destroys indrajit's chariot and kills all of his horses indrajit tries to fight 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 because after all he is also a quite a mi mighty warrior but if ultimately he is not able to survive and indrajit is also lying dead when ravan hears this news that his son is no more he is again very very grief stricken and he then says that you know my son just created a false impression of sita maya i am now going to go and kill her so he takes his sword and he is just about to go and actually kill sita maya when one of the ministers tells him that you know is this is not the right thing to do how can you kill a woman like this you have first of all you have taken her away incorrectly from her husband and now you are saying that you will kill her this is totally not acceptable so then he ravan says that okay then i will have to fight so let us see what happens in the next episode